there, thanks for stopping by. So I picked up this new little packet of six tubes of Daniel Smith watercolor um, paints. And I thought it'd be fun if we did a swatch them out and then maybe later on we could do some painting in our sketchbook. So for my sketchbook, I'm gonna use a Strathmore 100, um, no, yeah, 140 pound cold press paper. And it comes you know, in a notebook. So it's got a bunch of different pages. There's 48 pages in here. I'm going to flip that over. So what I've done is I went ahead and I made a chart. So my chart is, in case you would like to make one too, uh, my chart is, let's see, is four and a half inches wide. So this way. And then over here what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the six different tubes over here so we can see how light and dark they get. So all together from the start over here to the end is six and a half inches. Each of these squares is three fourths of an inch wide. And then over here I made these half an inch. And then this way is also four and a half. So we've got four and a half by four and a half. So it's an even square on this side. And then I'm gonna put my extras over here. And then I took my micron pen and I just wrote the name of each one of my colors there along the top. And then I had them go this way. So my thought is we're gonna do the yellow and then we'll add new gamboge to it. And I'm gonna keep it even across the top so it's lighter at the top and then I'll add when I go down, when I do the yellow and the new gamboge, I'll put more of the gamboge in this square. So I'll mix more with the light yellow so they get darker as they go down. That's my thought anyway. So anyway, I've also got a number six um, silver black velvet brush and I'm going to use a little eyedropper to put water into the paint. And then I also grabbed this um, butcher's palette. It's just white and it's big, so I thought that would be perfect for um, mixing our, my paint there and I could just leave them until the end. Um, and I'll put a link to everything I use down in the description box in case you would like to pick something up. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what I've decided to do is just make a line of these all the way across and I'm just going to pop the lid off and then dab them into my tray. That seems like the easiest way to do it. I may later decide to put them into a little palette, but for right now I'm just going to go like this and try this out. I haven't really decided if I like the palette thing yet or if I would like to just keep them separate. So this will kind of give me an idea whether or not I want to do it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and keep my paints up here at the top so that I can remember what order they're in. And then I'm going to take my um, eyedropper and let's fill it up. And then what I'm going to do is just give each drop or each little space a little one drop of water. That way I can kind of remember what I used. We'll start with that, see how it goes. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab my paintbrush, dip it in my water, and then let's go ahead and start with the yellow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix up my yellow with the drop of water and see how that looks. And it looks pretty good. And then what we'll do over here is we're going to paint this square. And then over here in this section, grab a little bit more. Oh wait too, if I just use the one drop thing, I can remember how much water I used. So we're just gonna paint all the way down. Grab a little bit more. Want it to be pretty even all the way down and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna come back and add a second coat but I'll start in this square and go that way. Okay, then let's go ahead and we'll do, I'm gonna rinse off my paintbrush. And then I'm gonna mix up the orange one, which was the new gamboge. So I'm just mixing my little drop of paint or water into my paint. And then that one is gonna be here and here. So we're gonna do this next one. So it's gonna go, go at a diagonal down the page. And then same over here, just go right down our square or our rectangle. Grab a little bit 
more. That should be pretty even to the end here. Okay, rinse the brush off. And then we'll mix up the, oh, the rose, quinacridone rose with our water drop. And that one is gonna be right here. And I'm just grabbing more paint as I make my way down the, the line here. I want it to be fairly the same, or even, from the top to the bottom, so when we add our other layers, it will um, get darker as we go. And we'll rinse our brush off. And we'll grab some Pyrrol Scarlet next. our brush and next we're gonna grab um, oh blue what is that five uh, I'm gonna know I'm gonna say it all wrong and I've heard it sound said a million and two times but this blue one's next I have to look it up A brush and next is French ultramarine ultramarine at least that one was a little bit easier I can pronounce that one at least okay mix with our water and we'll come down whoops I think I got a little too much there Okay, so we got all those done. Let's see if this is dry up here. It feels, still, still feels a little bit wet, so we're gonna leave. I think I'm gonna let it dry for a minute before I start adding the other colors, because I wanna use that same dot of paint to do um, all the other stuff. So let me grab my dryer. And we'll just dry it real quick. At least these over here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in. We're going to grab some of our paint over here. So let's go ahead and start with the yellow. And I want to start here. if it makes a difference 
if we add more coats over the top of the, the first coat. So I'll know for future if I want to um, layer it, if I need to add more paint, or if I just want to put more water in there, dilute it more. This way I will kind of know. much of a difference there. Okay, let's finish it up here. up a bunch so I'm gonna go ahead and give my little um, tray here another dot of paint
think the French vanilla or French ultramarine is going to need another daub of paint because there's still quite a bit um, in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a drop of water. Since that one still has some, we're not going to drop water in that one. And then what we're going to do is let's do, we're going to do the yellow first. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the new Grand Bauge and I'm going to add a drop, a dab of color in there with that. And then we'll mix those two. This, the dry. Yep. And this one. And then to make it darker, I'm going to go ahead and add one more drop. Lighter going across, darker going down. So let's go ahead and we'll do, let's go ahead and go all the way across first. So we're going to grab the yellow. And then Macadome Rose. drop of water. Mix those up. And then we'll put that one in the next box. drop of the Quinacridone Rose. And the yellow, so we're going to go down this way. Look at the difference it makes with just one extra drop over here. Work our way across, so let's grab yellow. I think I got enough yellow there for two times. I think I'm going to move a little bit. I can't pronounce. This is a green shade. Okay, so let's go ahead and mix the scarlet one first.
right, and then we'll do the blue one next. drop of our blue to go down. Last one is our French Marine. So let's grab some more yellow. French Marine. Our one drop of water. And we will mix those up. dot of our blue, our uh, French ultramarine. our first row so I'm gonna go ahead and put you on fast forward and I'm gonna do the rest and um, I'll talk to you at the end
Okay, so there we have our finished um, chart with the six Daniel Smith watercolors. I think it'd be interesting too, maybe I'll do another one on the second page over here that combines some of the colors um, together. So like if you had um, New Gamboge and Finite Rose and maybe the Feral Scarlet with the blue just to see what that'll look like. So maybe I'll save that for a second video and we'll try that out over here on the second page. So thanks for joining me today. If you have a question, leave me a comment down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Otherwise, I hope you're having a fabulous day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.